Dr. Giulio Garafa. I'm a consultant urologist and a senior lecturer at the University College London Hospital. I've been working there over the last 10 years and my main interest is uh, andrology and complex reconstruction of the urogenital tract of the male. Well, there are a few factors that are extremely important uh, in, uh, cho in choosing who, where to go for this kind of operation. First of all, you need to make sure that uh, the surgeon who will operate on you is a high volume surgeon who is very experienced, who is up to date, with the most novel techniques, who audits his own activity to see whether he has complications and uh, addresses uh, any issue from that aspect. Uh, must be a surgeon who is uh, uh, regularly attending international congresses to describe his own activity and who also interacts with other uh, leading experts in the field to make sure that he uh, can learn from them and can exchange his experience with them. Because certainly any surgeon, every surgeon does his uh, own operation slightly differently and every way of operating will have some advantages and some disadvantages. And that's why it's very important for various surgeons in various parts of the world to um, confront and uh, to describe their own different techniques in order to try to optimize the process. With regards to my own personal experience, uh, I have to say that since I've been trained uh, more than 10 years ago in, uh, at the University College London Hospital, uh, the technique and the way I carry out the operation has significantly changed. And this is thanks to uh, ideas I have uh, um, learned from other colleagues and sometimes also my own ex ideas to try to improve the technique. And I'm sure the technique will continue evolving over time. With regards to the practice, obviously it's very important to find a practice where, the, where uh, you, doctors are easily accessible because certainly there, things may not go well during the operation or patient may have some concerns more than saying things don't go well. Uh, patient may want to be able to access and uh, discuss with the surgeons and uh, to be sometimes reassured that everything went fine and that all the post-operative stages are actually part of the normal healing process. And uh, it must be a place where patients are treated as individuals, they are respected, and uh, their privacy is respected. So I think these are the most important things. Certainly, the main issue is to choose a surgeon who is a large volume surgeon, who is very experienced in this field, and uh, who is well known and recognized for that operation. Well, a typical example uh, is a very, an example very close to me. I ruptured my Achilles tendon one month ago and uh, then uh, I had to decide whether to go ahead with surgery or not. And that's why um, I had to inquire and to find out who was the most experienced surgeon or, and the person who had the best outcomes in terms of repair of Achilles tendon. So being in the field of medicine myself, uh, it's slightly easier because I can ask colleagues um, for a recommendation. If I was not in the medical field, certainly I would have started inquiring, looking on the internet and finding the name of various surgeons who operate uh, on the Achilles tendon, for example, in my case, and uh, then uh, uh, trying to do further research on those uh, surgeons to find out where do they work, what's their activity, uh, where do they present, and if they are well established internationally. It's because uh, I have uh, received very good uh, reviews on this surgeon from various colleagues in my institution, and uh, when I met the surgeon, they, also he gave me the confidence uh, that the operation would have been successful. Well, is when, for example, um, the surgeon looks, looks confident when he's discussing with you and uh, it's very difficult to, uh, to li uh, literally highlight the small details. But there are some surgeons that can inspire you more confidence. Possibly I was already feeling quite confident because uh, I had very good reviews about the surgeon. Uh, certainly 
there is uh, one important issue that uh, maybe is not always uh, clear to the public is that uh, the outcome of surgery, of surgery are very highly related to the surgeon itself because uh, every surgeon has different outcomes and the outcomes that are reported on the literature or on the internet are different for each surgeon. So it's not that every surgeon will produce the same outcomes. So if you are not a, a, a physician or you are not from a medical field, it's very important that you are aware of this concept. And therefore, it's very important that you choose uh, properly the person who is going to treat you. And that this can be done uh, acquiring information, especially through the internet. In the past, uh, used to be word to mouth. You used to speak to other people who have had the same operation and they used to advise you to go ahead with one surgeon or not. Now with the internet, we have this very powerful instrument which allows you to evaluate surgeons all over the world. And uh, potentially you can choose a surgeon who works very far from you, but who has a very, very high uh, expertise in the field and uh, who is likely to give you a higher chance of a successful operation. Well, first of all, it depends on, as I said, the main thing is the surgeon. So I always try to focus my activity on my area of expertise and uh, I always try to develop my practice and learn from my mistakes because this is very important as I was telling you in my previous in one of the previous questions um, surgery is not something static Some, surgery is something that has to develop that's why we get better devices but also the technique improves and that this is very important um, so I always try to keep myself updated. I attend congresses. I regularly publish on the literature my results. And uh, I, I always try to interact with uh, other leading experts in my fields to try to learn their tricks and to discuss my tricks with them in order to try to improve uh, both my activity and their activity. So I try to provide it to the patient the most updated service. And also from uh, an admin point of view, I want uh, that my patients are able to contact us for any issue at any time and that they are treated with dignity, respect and that they are treated as individuals.